Out of all the different queries that we've looked at so far, we've looked at a lot of different types of select queries or criteria, and also we've looked at aggregate or totals queries. Here we're going to look at parameter queries, and this makes our queries even more powerful. So parameters are things that we ask the user for, and then we can use that as part of criteria in the middle of our queries. So let's get started. Take for example, if I just do a basic select query first of all, where I want to take all of the different films and show them from a particular category. So I'm going to go to query design, and I'll add in the two different tables that I'm interested in, categories and films, and I can see there's a join between them. I'll put in SGR category in one field, and for the moment I'll just put in SGR film name in the other field. And I just want all of the different films to do with one of these categories, and one of the categories I know from just knowing this database well is just westerns. So if I run that query now, I can see all of the different films that are in the western category. Now, if I'm thinking of this from the point of view of a user, they might like to have that type of query, except they might like to have it for all of the different categories. So at any given time, they can choose any one category, westerns, sci-fi, horror, and they can see all of the different films inside of that category. But the way that we've set it up so far is we'd have to create an individual unique query for each one of those different categories, which isn't too bad in our database. I think we've only got eight or nine categories, but if that category list was to expand, suddenly you'd have maybe 30, 40 different queries, and you'd have to line those up inside in your query sidebar here, and they become very difficult to find and maintain. Rather than putting in an actual criteria and what we call hard coding a particular value like Western or sci-fi, it would be much better to ask the user when they're running the query, what particular category do they want the query to run with? And the way that we do that is we use a parameter query. So the parameter query is very easy to set up. Again, we're just going to go to the criteria row in my query design. And for the categories uh, table or the categories field there, we're just going to put in square brackets. And inside those square brackets, we'll put an alert or a question out to the user asking them what do they, what, what criteria do they want to use. So, uh, what film category? And uh, put a question mark there. Put a square bracket the other side of that. And what that means is every time now that we run this query, there'll be a little alert box with a text box underneath it that will ask the user what film category do they want to use in this criteria. So if we will put in Western as we did before, we'll get the same answer as we did before. Or we can use any of the other different types of categories that are there as well. And we'll get different data sets for each one of those different uh, parameters that we enter. So it makes the whole query much, much more powerful. You can blend parameter queries with any of the other different query tricks that we've seen before in the different tutorials, such as any aggregates or any of the different select type of uh, special characters that we can use in the criteria field, like logical operators, mathematical operators, comparison operators, but also wildcards as well. With wildcards, let me just give you a quick example of how to do that. Again, I'm just going to adjust this query that we've already designed. And what I want to do is I want it to allow the user to put in a partial category name, that it doesn't have to be an exact match as long as some of the different string of the category name occurs in the criteria, it will search for that and will return the same type of result sets as we've seen before. So as before, with wildcard characters, it's based around the asterisk symbol. So I can put in uh, double quote, asterisk, double quote, the ampersand symbol, which is located above the 7 on a PC keyboard, that just sticks the, amp, uh, the asterisk to the parameter that the user puts in. And then on the other side, I also need to put in an ampersand and another asterisk as well. And what I'm saying there is it doesn't matter where this uh, section of the string that the user puts in, if it uh, matches any kind of uh, part of a category name, we want those records returned. It's also important as well in Access to make sure that we put in the like. Usually when we put in other different criteria, like gets 
put in automatically. But in this case, when we're doing a more complicated wildcard query like this, uh, sometimes it doesn't. So like asterisk and the parameter and an asterisk. And let's run this. So again, it's asking me for a film category, but I can put in just any part of a film category and it will return that category for me. Let me just take another example here and I can run this and let's just go for and it just makes the whole query that little bit more responsive a little bit more quick for a user if they're used to running the same queries over and over again that they don't have to spell out the whole query uh, in in one full go they can take a partial subset of the letters three letters at the beginning and it just makes the whole thing much more responsive so that's parameter queries in access uh, make sure that you like this video if you found it useful